what is up everybody so in today's video we're gonna be um doing a deck profile and this deck profile is a highly requested deck profile in the hero community on facebook and the comment section as well and this is the budget hero deck profile or as i like to call it the budget omni hero deck profile now the reason why i wanted to make this deck like i said i know a lot of guys can't afford malicious bane a lot of you guys cannot afford a dust of gold heck a lot of you guys can't afford sunriser and or um liquid soldier to do those crazy combos but a lot of you guys do want to play this deck a lot of you guys do love the hero archetype and watching Yu Gi Oh gx in the back of the day so this is the um poor man's hero deck hero deck specifically built for the people who want to play this deck We'll have about a hundred or so odd dollars, give or take, to throw around, and you guys can play this deck in this game competitively. So, with all that being said, let's get into it. Without further ado, let's begin. Start off, we're gonna do the um, monsters and then the extra deck. We don't have a side deck because you guys are on budget. If you guys are um, broken on a budget, you're more than likely only going to locals. And if you're on a budget, more than likely just trying to have fun. So, starting with the monster lineup. Also, as a disclaimer, I do have some high rarity stuff in my deck. Because you guys already know, I don't really care about the price of the card as long as it works. Um, but you definitely would get everything in low rarity. And at the end of this video, I'll make sure I try to get at least the, um, how much everything will cost towards the end of this video. Currently during the March um, 2020 month. So that way, if you guys want to, if you guys see this profile later and the deck is more expensive, I'm sorry. This relevancy for the pricing is only going to be going on for March. Because you guys already know, Yu-Gi-Oh! cards can go up or go down. Starting off, Triple Stratos. Um, you definitely want to run Triple Stratos. Lowest rarity, no exceptions. I believe I've seen most of these online for like $1.50, $1.98 a piece. That's like six bucks right there. The cream de la cream to the deck makes the deck run efficiently. You have to run it. One um, Solid Soldier. I like Solid Soldier at one. Keeps the price down. I think he's like a dollar as well. But also, he just I feel like even in my expensive build, I only run one. Some people um like to do triple solid soldier. So if you open them up with solid soldier stratos and another hero monster for the sky fighter, you can do some pretty cool combos. But the deck that searches a lot, you really only run, you want to run one. You never want to open up double ODs. One honest and neos for the OTK factor. Um, you guys already know honest and neos and trinity is a 7500 attack 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 OTK. Two forests and two increase. Now. Cut this engine down, of course, because of pricing is concerned. Forest alone, I believe, is between eight and ten bucks. Increases is about the same, so this is like forty dollars right here. So just keep pricing down. This is gonna be like literally the entire engine for the full price is gonna be gonna worry about like thirty bucks for the forests, sixteen bucks for the increase, about forty six to fifty bucks. So to keep price down, forty six bucks right there. You also want to run lowest rarity Vion, so I believe Vions are like one to five bucks um, at the recording of this video. So right now we're at about $56 or with everything, give or take. Um, that's because of the straddles and everything. But yeah, this is gonna, is gonna go on. We're gonna move forward to there. Two Shadow Mists. You guys definitely need Shadow Mists. It is a common in certain structure decks. Um, you guys can pick up, need to pick up Shadow Mists. No exception, you need it. The one common Plasma. Um, plasma's good, Dark Claw Plasma wins games. Celestial, Dynatag. Mali is also another two dollar card. You need three. Um, Mali comes common, multiple rarities. You probably could pick these up three for the five at your locals, depending on what local you go to. Um, yeah, Mali is good. Um, essentially, no exceptions. Three, of course, common Ash Blossoms. These are ultras, but you definitely want to run three Ash Blossoms because this is a relatively budget card right there. One Rota, um, two emergency calls because there's pretty much. They're kind of staples, um, specifically in this build, especially because you're not running like Liquid Soldier, your Dustigo, things of that nature. Ooh, what is this doing here? Don't want to run Dark Calling because you're not running the um, the engine. I don't know how that got in here, ignore the Dark Calling part. Um, Miracle Fusion, Poly. Um, oh, what am I doing? Sorry, don't want to run Miracle Fusion either. My apologies, guys. I don't know why, for example, I left those in my extra deck. I didn't want to mess up too many things in my extra deck, but I'm sorry. You don't want to include Miracle Fusion, don't want to include. Do not include these cards for the budget bill. My apologies. Okay. Three, I'm sorry, two emergency, yeah. Two emergency calls, one Rota, one Poly. Um, standard, pretty much standard. Two Twin Twister, um, back row decks are a thing. And you guys definitely would need this for that um, back row heavy decks. So you get these, like, I think they're kind of common as well in starter deck. Hero Lives, 
two super poly i believe super polys are fives now uh, correct me if i'm wrong in the comment section down below but um yeah money card what can you say and you probably put them on keeper than that this card was heavily printed in the ots pack heavily 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 but you run this because super poly the hero deck has outs to boards and so yeah Triple Diffusion Destiny, you can get these common, I believe. It's, no, these don't come common, but they're relatively cheap. Um, triple Cobble of the Grave. Cobble of the Grave, you kind of need protection for hand traps, no exception. No exception. Um, and Triple Mass Change for going to those plays, to your um, Dark Law plays. So, it's a 40 card main deck. Um, really solid. Typically, I do would go a little bit more. Um, however... For consistency purposes, things of that nature, and the fact that you don't need a Dusty Gold and Liquid Soldier and Dark Calling and Miracle, 40 cards is pretty solid. Um, you rarely would ever break. One Dread Designator, one one Driver, two Cross Crusader. These are pretty standard in heroes. Um, I'm a fan of Wonder Driver now, only because of the new format. Um, he's really good in helping recycling things like your Super Polys, um, things of that nature. I don't. I stopped running him before, but when we only had Mally at two, and I never really tested it out. Did some test hands with him. It's been great for you guys that have been following me for a while and knew I didn't really run that car. But a lot of you guys told me to run that car because it's just that good. Um, Trinity, um, because he does help with the LTK. Uh, I'll give you guys a little disclaimer. In my expensive build, I actually cut Trinity because you rarely ever go into him. However, since this is the budget build, I feel like you definitely want to try to find a quick OTK win ratio. And what's a better win ratio other than attacking multiple times with Trinity? It doesn't happen as much in the expensive build because you have Malicious Bane to go off and clear boards. However, in a budget build, you definitely need your Trinity. Then for your Super Poly targets, one Great Tornado, one Ab Zero, one Escarito, one Shining. All of these are relatively cheap, except probably Ab Zero probably went up in price recently. I haven't checked the price on that yet. And I think Escrito is like four or five bucks, but he has multiple. Both of these have multiple printings. You should be able to pick them up relatively cheap. Um, Starving Venom, because it's a generic target for Super Poly, just to help you clear boards. Um, if Starving Venom is too much for you, if you break past the hundred dollar threshold, you don't have to add it. You can use another Super Poly target. There's plenty of Super Poly targets that's generic. You can add like Mud Dragon, things of that nature. Um, yeah. One Dangerous for the Fusion Destiny combo. One Anki. Um, just because you can Anki, you do cute little things like Anki in the um, tag directly with with the um, honestly nails and hit him for 39. Double Dark Law because it's Dark Law and Dystopia. Um, 15 card extra deck before us. I don't think you want, would want to run anything less than 15. But yeah, man, this is essentially my um, budget hero deck. If I was on a budget and I was broke and I couldn't afford cards like I can now, because like I said, I've been there. And um, you guys can't afford the cards, I get it. And yeah, definitely want to help you guys out. Also, before I um, let you guys go, I just want to show you guys, for you guys that may be new to the deck, how to deck OTKs. Um, especially in the budget build, there's multiple ways you can OTK. Like, for example, Fusion Destiny is a one card OTK. And Hero Lives is a one card OTK. Um, first, I'll show you guys the Fusion Destiny OTK for you guys that are new here. You're going to go Fusion Destiny. You're going to go ahead and send one Mally. One Celestial, you gonna bring your Dystopia, burn your opponent for 1600, getting them down to 6400 life points. You're gonna banish your Mally, you're gonna bring out another Mally, you're gonna Link Summon into Cross Crusader, bring back your um, Dystopia, you're gonna banish your Mally, bring out another Mally, tribute off that Mally. I'm sorry, what am I doing? To play, go get your Stratos, some of your Stratos to search out a Honest Dineos. Right now, your opponent's currently at um, 64. And this field, honestly, is really game. But just to add some more, actually, no, we actually ran out of Hero Monsters. Yeah, this field is actually pretty much just game right here. Because right now, this is 4300 damage. Your opponent's already at 64. 43 plus 28, that's 71. So yeah, man, really, really good, easy OTK combos. And I know some of you guys are wondering, how can you um, OTK just with the one card, um, just with the hero lives? Because I had somebody in the hero um, community say, 
He was considering cutting Hero Lives because it's a card that he doesn't come up from him that much, and when he does, he kind of loses, which I understand, but literally this card is amazing. You go Hero Lives, pay half, summon your Stratos, play Stratos. Well, Hero Lives, play some Stratos, Stratos, effect to add. Now, if you have a Discard Fighter, you add Fire, and it's an OTK, um, but since we don't have Discard Fire, you're gonna go grab Vion. You got a normal summon your Vion. Dump your Mally, banish Mally. Or actually, you don't even gotta do that, but we're gonna go ahead and banish Mally. Bring that out. Um, Link Summon. Cross Crusader. Cross Crusader, bring back Mally. We're gonna go ahead and tribute the Mally. What am I doing? Go ahead and bring Honesty Neos and Banish Mally again. Banish Mally. Go ahead and bring out Dread Decimator. Dread Decimator currently is at 28. Um, Stratos is currently at because he's getting pumped up by 321. So that's what 49. I'm sorry, 28 plus 20. That's 4900 damage. You're gonna do honest nails. You should attack with Dread Decimator first. Yeah, Dread Decimator first. That's gonna be 7400 damage. Um, and he's gonna add an extra 200. So it's not exactly game, but that's still a lot of pressure you get from one card. And if you're playing the expensive version of this deck, that would have been game because you could um, bring out a dust of gold and just went off. But essentially, yeah, man, um, the hero deck is insane. And even as a budget build, it can do good. So post your thoughts and opinions about my budget hero deck in the comments section down below. Uh, I know some of you guys are going to say, Chris, this deck is close to 100 bucks and maybe a little bit over 100 bucks. This is not budget. But hey, um, if you ain't got at least 100 to 150 bucks to spend on this game, you guys definitely shouldn't be playing um, a deck like Heroes anyway. So yeah, man, tell me what you guys think. Comment section down below. Like the video if you're new here and subscribe for more. This is Rogue Hero and I'm signing out. Peace and stay in the video, guys. Deuces. Have a good day.